This lever was the apparent culprit to the whole problem, but this is where the whole mystery begins. This airbag did not need replacing. It did not explode as I originally thought. Let me explain. The first thing I want to say is that if you haven't seen the first part of this whole incident, the first video I filmed about uh, the airbag explosion, you have to watch that video first. Follow this link up here and watch that video. You'll understand a little bit better as to what I'm talking about and you'll understand more of, of this whole situation. There's no doubt that if you are an owner operator, there will be sometimes that decisions have to be made and mistakes will be made. And there's no doubt that this was one of my biggest mistakes since I started being an owner operator for about four years now, four and a half years. So there's something to learn out of this video and Perhaps in the end, you, you'll understand what's going on and maybe you can help me out because I think that there, there's still a little bit of a mystery at the end of all of this. And maybe you can comment below uh, to, to let me know what you think really occurred in this whole thing. When I took this truck back to the mechanic with the broken shocks and the exploded airbag, so I thought, I told them that the airbags were overinflated. I told him that the rod should have been cut a little shorter. That way the air cutout could have been a little faster and therefore the, the airbags should not have been inflating as much. Now, the one thing I wanna say is that the old lever was working fine in my opinion the airbags were not over inflated the trailer was not sitting so high when he replaced the airbag the first time he replaced that rod because the little rubber grommets that held the rod were broken they were torn off right so he had to replace the rod and the rod i noticed was longer than the old one so that's why I think that it overinflated the suspension. And on top of that, the trailer looked a little higher than usual. Like I could see the trailer sitting a little like three inches higher over the tires. And you could tell that you could tell that the trailer was not level. It was a little higher. Okay. And I explained all that to him and he disagreed. He just brushed it off. When the mechanic was done with the repairs the second time, I noticed that the airbag that I brought him was uh, still in the cab right here on the seat. He didn't need it, he didn't use it. And I questioned him about that. How is it that the other airbag exploded, but it's still being used. He said that he repaired it. How is it that you can repair an airbag if it's torn? My question is, the first time that he put on that airbag, did he forget something? See, the thing is that I don't know how, how airbags are put on or what you need to do before installing it I, I don't know I don't have that knowledge again if you know what's really happening here let me know what in the comment section what you think really happened in this whole situation how is it that the airbag did not need replacing like was this the mechanics fault did he forget something the first time comment below now this second time around the mechanic obviously charged me for his labor he charged me for the two new shocks and the leveling valve. So you total all that in and we're looking at six, 700 USD. 
and again i i don't know what what uh really happened here was it really the valve was it something the mechanic forgot i i think it's still a little bit of a mystery but if you think you know please comment below i would greatly appreciate it and again if you learned something from this whole mistake from this whole scenario hit the like button subscribe i would greatly appreciate that